Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can create a rainbow border gradient effect inside of GIMP. So the first step of creating this effect is going to be to get a solid one color border going around our canvas. So I already have a background pulled in. I don't want to add the border to that layer so that we can manipulate the border separately and easily. Let's click on create a new layer in the layers window. And then for the layer name, I'm going to call it border. Let's hit OK. So now on this layer, what we're going to want to do is get a selection of everything around our canvas, which is the area you can actually see information in, not the gray area outside of it, but everything in sight here. So let's use control A in order to select everything in our document uh, canvas wise. So that's going to take the dashed line around our document and it's going to make it white, uh, which represents that we have a selection there. So now we need to put a border of any color around the edge. So right click go to edit, go down to stroke selection. And then the setting that we're going to need to manipulate here is line width. So this document here is 1920 by 1080 pixels, that would be 1080p equivalent revolution, or kind of what your standard YouTube video would be these days. So to make a border that's thick enough, I put the line width at 80 pixels. When you stroke here, half of it is going to be inside the canvas and half is going to be outside. So really, this is more creating something like a 40 pixel border. So just take whatever thickness you want and double it and that will be your line width. So let's go ahead and hit stroke. And we can see our border appears around the edge. So it's a rectangular border. And it's in the exact position we need it to be. The color doesn't actually matter here because we're going to add a gradient on top of it. But now that we have the area where our border is defined, that's going to be really easy to do. So I'm going to right click on the border layer and then do alpha to selection, which is going to make it so that only the areas that are not transparent on this layer are going to be selected, which is our border area. So next we need to go to the gradient tool, hit G to do so. And you'll see I already have the full spectrum gradient selected, but you can select here where you see the little icon and select any gradient you want to give a shot. Since this is a tutorial on making a rainbow gradient, just choose one of the full saturation spectrum rainbow gradients. So let's go ahead and select that. Now to make sure we apply this across our border smoothly and equally on both sides, let's add some guides so that we can start from the center. So I'm going to go to image guides at the bottom, a new guide by percent, make one for horizontal 50%, and then go to image guides, new guide by percent, and choose vertical here, hit OK. So now we can easily snap to the horizontal line, the vertical line, but or both in the center. So this is going to help us a lot. So I'm going to snap to this vertical line, clicking somewhere like down here and dragging a gradient line up here to the top. So if you want the colors of the gradient to be on the left and right primarily, then you can do bottom to top like this. I'll hit uh, control Z and now we'll do left to right on the horizontal line. So this is just the same thing, but flipped. Now the color differences are at the top and bottom. And if you want the red to be much less pronounced, then you want to take the line outside of the document area. So I'm going to click way over here and drag a line all the way to the right, making sure to snap on those colors. And now you can see the red basically disappeared here since we were way outside of the border. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have every color there if you don't want. If we want to make sure the red is brought in, we can try that again, just making sure that it's only a little bit outside of the document and then go over here to the right. So to get the exact color set up here is a little bit of trial and error. If you want, you can just go corner to corner, bottom left to top right as well. And you're basically going to get the result you want. So the main thing is just you make the simple border one color, you use that as the selection so that you can layer a gradient over it. And then you just select whatever gradient you want. So if you don't want the rainbow anymore, you could change to something else like skyline down here, bottom left to top right. And that can look pretty cool as well. Another trick I want to show you is that if you want to slightly adjust the colors, but keep the same distribution like this, then you can right click on your border layer and duplicate it just to have a backup. I'm going to hide the original now. And with this border copy, let's go up to the color menu, go to hue chroma. And then we can use this tool to adjust the colors or shift them around on the color wheel in a sense. 
So if I add 30 or 70, you can see that it's keeping the shape of the gradient and the transition the same, but we're changing what colors we're actually going to show on that image. So this is just a really neat way of getting different varieties of the same kind of effect. And you can use this with the rainbow as well. If you think it's too dark, just increase the lightness and you can increase the chroma if you want the colors to be a little bit more pronounced or you can lower it down if you want it to be a bit more muted. So using the hue chroma tool and these gradient borders, there's a huge variety of effects you can put around the edge of your image. And I think that this is pretty good for thumbnails. So just play around with it and uh, see if you get a cool look that you like. So we can hit OK there. And now we just have that adjusted version of the skyline gradient. Or if we want, we can just go back to the other one that we just created the duplicate from and basically return to our original. But if you ever need to start from scratch, just select the gradient again and make sure that you right click the border and do alpha to selection if you haven't already and just drag your gradients out there from side to side. Make sure you get the right distribution of the end colors and there you go, your rainbow gradient. So that's basically everything I wanted to show about creating a rainbow border or just a gradient border in general for thumbnails and other images inside of GIMP. Hopefully you all learned a lot from this video. Thanks for watching to the end. I've been Chris and I will see all of you in my future video content.